During sex it felt great, I guess because of the adrenaline, but afterwards I was doubled over in pain. It felt like my cervix had been drop kicked by Chuck Norris. Men or women that have had sex with a man with an abnormally large or abnormally small penis. What was the experience like? Abnormally large fellow dislodged my IUD, was temporarily crippled by the pain and had to go to the DRs to make sure it hadn't perforated my uterus. Wasn't exactly what I'd describe as fun. Above average can be absolutely incredible, especially in certain positions. That is until your cervix gets hit. Had a couple hookups with a guy whose penis was about the same size as my index finger. We only did blow jobs, but holy hell. It was like someone trying to make me throw up by sticking their finger down my throat. Had to tell him to stop about halfway in. Not fun when terrified of injury. We were in our 20s. He was a smoking hot virgin. He met a woman who could enjoy all he had to offer. 26 cm. Not long after our attempt and Facebook says they're still together over a decade later. I don't even know if what we did qualifies as sex. He looked at me with a terrified, are you okay, look on his face and was met with my freaked out expression. Fun to look at, scary to experience. A co-worker of mine was talking about sleeping with a guy who was almost the size of her Comcast television remote. For visual reference, this is appropriate because Comcast is definitely a big prick. Anyway, she said she tentatively touched it like Indiana Jones with the Golden Idol, and jiggled it about experimentally. It made a THP 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 sound like a water balloon, and it was so visually striking and distinctive that she wouldn't have been surprised if it had talked or sang a song. In the end, she incredulously asked him what he was planning on doing with that and had to frankly tell him she didn't think that was going to happen. I lost my virginity to someone with a 9 incher. He was the epitome of having a big penis doesn't make you good in bed. Didn't try to turn me on. Didn't do anything but jackhammer until he finished. Couldn't even find my clip the one time he ever tried. All I really remember about that sex is the overwhelming, displeasurable pain of having him punch my cervix with his penis. He used his size as a reason to not really try in bed. He never gave me opportunity to warm up. And even though I thoroughly enjoy super super rough sex, he just thought ramming it into me over and over was the way to go. Lack of warm up and him just thrusting hard like no tomorrow, left me sore and angry. Not a good kind of sore, either. My cervix hated me when I was with him. I was with a guy who wasn't vert well endowed. We were fooling around and he asked for a hand job. I went to put my hand around and found that my hand was larger than his fully erect penis. Similar to many others, couldn't feel it when he put it in either. I was with a dude who had a penis like a large deodorant can. One night we were doing the dance of the beast with two backs, and he must have bashed my cervix one time too many and I began to faint. I realized what was happening and tried to make it to the bathroom, not sure why. I thought I'd been pretty speedy but turns out he had had to shepherd me along the 5 meter corridor because I was all over the place, literally bouncing off the walls. I didn't even know he'd followed me. My roommate came out of her room to find me completely naked. Passed out on the toilet with my panicking boyfriend trying to bring me round. At about 1am, I eventually came round and kept frantically asking him to bring me my slip. He didn't understand. Bring Emmy my slip. My slip. I was frantically trying to cover my bits and bobs with my hands to maintain some level of dignity. I wanted my nighty and had never called it my slip in all my days. I was so confused. My shortest ex was actually the one with the largest penis. I don't know an exact side but he had a very wide girth and was still decently long. We would have to use the vibrator on me first, because it was thinner, in order to stretch me out enough that he would fit without hurting me. At the time, I thought it was really good sex, but now I'm with the guy that I know I'm going to spend my life with, and turns out the big penis guy wasn't as good as I thought. Now boyfriend is still decently long as well so I'm a happy girl. My husband was small, it never mattered, it was great and made BJS much easier, he passed years back, I began dating another guy and he was long and decently thick, I could hardly walk, he had to be careful for a long time because it was painful, I got used to it, 
He wasn't as attentive as my husband so the sex wasn't as good overall. BJS were exhausting and I gagged a lot even with taking precautions with my hand. Overall, I enjoyed both extremes. I loved them and that's what mattered mostly. My boyfriend used to have a very huge penis. Blowjobs were fun, but after a while it became a problem, because we couldn't do certain positions like cowgirl etc. And sometimes if he thrusted in a bad angle, he would impale my cervix and I would be in pain. Basically, the novelty wore off and I wish he was a bit smaller. One of my long term partners, and to be respectful, I won't elaborate, was on the smaller side. I am bad at estimating lengths but just a bit smaller than average. We couldn't do every position because he didn't have the length, we just worked around it. I couldn't orgasm through penetration but it still felt good. It worked as long as he ate pussy a lot. After he decided he didn't want to eat pussy anymore, it went downhill a bit. I have also had a friends with benefits with a very large penis. Only saw him once or twice. I also didn't orgasm with him but it felt really, really good. Things could be a lot more acrobatic because of the length. He felt like he shouldn't have to eat pussy because he had a big penis. And that is an absolutely inexcusable sin. I wouldn't see him anymore after that. Large has its pros and cons. You have to be 150% up for it to remain naturally wet enough. Pray he doesn't have good stamina because you're going to have a difficult time keeping up the lubrication and the muscle exertion otherwise. If you're not totally in the mood, it's not going to happen. You cannot take a large one if you're not totally aroused. Blowjobs were the bane of my life. I used to be an avid giver, but now I hate them. You can forget any hope of anal. Be prepared to be sore the next day and to wince when you sit. Small also has its pros and cons. I couldn't feel much but what he lacked in size he made up for an enthusiasm and willingness. When he did hit a good spot I was so into it that the size didn't matter. Dude was loving every second and so I did too. Blowjobs are easy compared so he thinks I'm a sex goddess. He can't hit my favorite spot and I do really miss that but there's a reason I'm with this guy and not with the one who could. Dude had a little cone shaped penis. Too big at the base and too small at the tip. The experience looking back was the worst. I was young and naive. Like trying to have sex with an upside down ice cream cone. Bean with both. Large. Like being repeatedly gut punched because the dude had no idea what he was doing. I'm pretty sure childbirth was less traumatic on my cervix. I am not a size queen. Small. Actually really good. He had the plus of being relatively jerthy, and he knew how to work with what he had. It was deep penetration, but that didn't detract from anything. The angle he got was great for more clitoral stimulation which was great. I have had both. The large one never learned that a majority of the population do not like getting harpooned like a dolphin within a few seconds. Like go slow and use lube if you have to. Lube isn't just for anal. I can take a decent amount but when they hit my cervix I have to tap out for a bit. I'm a big woman so the small one I felt only grinding against my clit. Didn't feel the penetration but he was persistent and lasted a lot longer than the bigger guys. Also he gave me more attention. And pulled out toys and all kinds of fun stuff whereas the bigger guys were all about instant gratification and skipped for play. In the end, size doesn't matter to me. Had sex with a big penis guy, it was simultaneously the most boring and painful sex of my life. He wasn't a big dude, so the blood it took to power this thing left him dizzy. He pretty much just laid there, while I tried to figure out how to fit this terrifying doom cannon into my body. I gave up after about 10 minutes, then he cried. Also had sex with a small penis guy, I could only feel it in certain positions, and he was very sensitive about his performance, so he didn't take suggestions well. We didn't last long. Had a Tinder hookup with a guy. He was talking big game about his penis, about how he was going to f me so hard I couldn't walk, etc over snapchat, so I was eager to meet up. When I get there he whips it out and I swear, he had to have 3 inches, maximum. I must have made the worst face because he just started apologizing about the size, while I'm trying to reassure him it's fine. The condom was almost too big for him. 
In all honesty, it was the worst sex I've ever had. I didn't feel anything. He only lasted a minute or two, and it just left me horny and angry. I felt kind of bad because I was obviously pissed off when I left, and he immediately unmatched from me the moment I stepped out of his apartment. When I was ranting about it to my friends, one of them pointed out that although it was a bad situation for me, think of how embarrassed he was. Still, just don't talk mad game and then disappoint like that. He didn't even go down on me. Was with a smaller dude. Like others here have said, felt nothing. Pretty sure most of the action was him grinding against my inner thigh. We were young, and didn't really know what else to do outside of just basic sex. Nowadays I would ask for more attention because regardless of size, you can still have good times if there's other foreplay and fulfillment involved. And I would assume most men go crazy at the thought of a woman giving them more info about what they want. So the good times can roll for both parties. He was a good dude and an attentive boyfriend. We broke up due to being long distance. I don't regret it and I'd never make fun of a guy for the size of their sklong. It's not the dick that makes the man. It's the willingness to be an open and loving partner. It was really small. Bordering on micro. So trust me when I say I mean what I said above. In all other aspects the guy was funny, caring, and great to be around. We stayed together for a good while, and did only break up because there were more than a few states between us. And when you're that young you don't really have the money to travel very often. This was a very, very long time ago as well. I'm talking like 14-15 years I am very old, in redid ages, I guess. Middle age is the new 80, right? And to the rest who say I'm probably lying and it would be boring to not have full on P plus V sex. That's your opinion and experience. Mine is different. You're welcome to your beliefs, but don't try to insert them directly into my head. The only one in my head is me, as far as I know, and the only one who has had my particular life experiences is me, as well. Which is how I came to be who I am at this point. People always act like there's some kind of shame in using toys and stuff during regular sex. There's not. Sex stores wouldn't stay open if it wasn't fun to use them. Just saying. Was with a guy that had a 3-ish maybe less penis. I genuinely didn't care. And look back on it at times as one of the better experiences I had. Because he actually cared about how I felt and he looked at me like I was the most beautiful girl in the world. I don't know for sure. But I got the impression. He was a bit virginy. I would 10 out of 10 do it with someone that had a small penis again. It helps that I have a shorter smaller vagina. Even average size penises can feel pretty big to me. A girl once told me that a limo is impressive, but it's not that fun to drive and is especially hard to park. A regular sedan might be less impressive, but much more fun to drive and you can park almost anywhere. So I asked, how do you feel about hatchbacks? Thanks for listening to Radio TTS, my dirty minded ice cream sandwiches. Clicking on a video with penis in the title. As you see, size does not matter so much, and big size sausages can even have disadvantages. Hit the subscribe button for more dirty videos like this.